Well, we're back again. It is time to continue. I need to get through this uh, story so that... No, I want to visit it. Need to get through this so I can finish up Fragmentary Passage, or start Fragmentary Passage, move through Fragmentary Passage, get past the movie, I wonder how I'm supposed to do this. Okay, that's the answer. Sort of. No, it's not working the way it did before. I'm going to die on this stupid game. Threading the needles here, almost literally, is quite a problem. Oh, is that help? Yay, I got help. I'm not going to die. So great. Ah, uh, through that one. There's definitely been some ups in this game, but uh, this is definitely on the lower side of my Kingdom Hearts experiences, quite honestly. So we're finally returning to a Pinocchio thing besides Monstro from the very beginning. Fragmentary Passage is supposed to be really, really short. I want to get that out of the way. Get through the movie, get into Kingdom Hearts 3, that's where we're really going to have fun. It's going to be a different in a lot of reasons. Where have you run off to? Isn't that Geppetto? Then this must be... Oh, he's actually in Monstro. You can ride trapped enemies and use them against other foes. Burst the bubble, okay. Probably not going to be using that at all at all. We're trying to make those into some sort of maneuverization. We don't need to do any kind of that thing here. This is frickin' DDD. Whee! That's all you need to do to maneuver around. Dash into walls, super jump, and slide. I mean, even I can uh, do platforming in this game. Once you figure out all the tricks, it's super easy. Come on. The hardest thing is actually opening the chest. See how easy that was? I mean, it's just like the one in Kingdom Hearts, and I was struggling to figure out how to go. It's like here, it's like, eh, easy. Have you got anything interesting? No balloon, Ra. They got rid of Balloon, too. That's really surprising. Figments, figments, figments is still all he'll sell. Oh, Troubling Fancies. Nice. I might have to uh, look into buying that once I've got these guys done, then. Speaking of which, how's my command deck? Okay, I don't have two more yet. Hey, Geppetto, what's up? What's the matter? Huh? Goodness, who are you? Riku. Oh, Riku, you poor lad. 
Seems you were swallowed up by Monstro just like the rest of us. My name is Gepetto, and I'm looking for my son Pinocchio. Pinocchio's his gone, accent is super overpronounced over his own name. So. After all my searching, I found Well, at least it makes the, the name more proper. But then he ran off again to who knows where. That sounds kind of familiar. Mr. Geppetto, let me go look for your son. You would do that? Thank you. Are you sure? Oh, I need to do my new keyblade, too. Yeah, leave it to me. Did you say you were really going to help us find Pinocchio? Hmm? Huh? Jiminy? Huh? That's right. Name's Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. But, shucks, have we met? No. You know, never mind. Hmm, if you say so. Anyway, Pinocchio comes first. Right. Any idea where he went? Well, I'm almost certain he wandered off with a stranger. Can you describe Kids, him? don't go wandering off with strangers. Hmm. I remember he was dressed in Especially a Especially ones coat. in black coats. <laughs> A black coat? He's back again. Thanks. Huh? Well, I'm going with you. Pinocchio's gonna need his conscience, and that's where I come in. The only other th place where I've really seen consciences used in recent times, anyway, is you know, really honestly used is in Mega Tokyo, and it's so much fun having uh, the consciences in Mega Tokyo. Yeah, my bear looks much better than these bears. Balloon makes it too easy. Yeah. Balloon ra, yeah. balloon ra. No, just balloon, not balloon ra. Okay, um, items. Keyblade. Dual disc. It's more attack than magic. Oh, it's cool looking as it is. I'm gonna have to keep the bell. Finally, they did a side grade. The first two are so obviously better than your previous ones, and then this one is just a side grade. Bit crazy. Yeah. This will be an interesting yeah. twist, at least, yeah. if uh, yeah. Riku is in Monstro and yeah. Sora is yeah. in Prankster's Paradise. Because I already did a bit with Prankster's Paradise and uh, yeah. Yeah. and uh, Sora on my first, you know, initial messing around with the game for my uh, for my nephew. He told me to go there instead of the others, even though it was the highest level one. Storlax! Oh, I traded him out for Buddy. Whoops. Buddy for Storlax. Oh no. Shining Hammer. Okay. Um. Almost time to go to Kira. Almost. like those are things that I can ride, not that I need to, but maybe I will to make it easier. Thank you. 
Hmm, that looks interesting. I bet you I can get over there. It's just so easy in this game. It's even easier than Kingdom Hearts. It's probably too easy. They toned it down for uh, for Kingdom Hearts 3, I mean. I think they toned it down for Kingdom Hearts 3, which is actually fine. Because this is a little on the ridiculous side. I don't mind easy, quite honestly. I'd much rather have easy than hard, but this is probably too easy. Yeah, yeah indeed. Sir Kiryu recipe. That sounds fun. I doubt I can make it, though. I fell down. Go, Snorlax, go! Problem with Snorlax is that he actually has, uh... He actually has a hitbox, or rather, you know, a, uh... In-the-way box, whatever you want to call it. Golly, those things really pop you up, too. Up, Snorlax. Well done. Let's uh, see how our links are going, Mr. Affinity Up. Okay, Gloom, what do we want from you? A magic boost, probably. Not quite there yet, though. Ah, I need to do a link with you as soon as I get a chance. Need a hundred. He needs under. Okay, still a long ways away. And you've got plenty, but you need to be level 25. Uh-oh, you're only two out of three? You better do something about that. There we go, three out of three. My drop is still good. Okay, I've killed pretty much all the enemies here. Nope, still got some left. Okay, this is an area we can go through. Let's go. I explored that room a lot. Pinocchio! Jiminy! Let him go now! Goodness, are you all right? Riku and I looked for you everywhere. everywhere wasn't very uh -huh. far. I'm just fine. Sorry, Jiminy. I messed up real bad. You and Father must have been so worried about me. Why, Pinocchio? I think you just might be finally starting to learn. Who are you? Me? Okay. Is this the Riku replica that uh breathe? That was my my dark side. Or is it just uh I gave in to the darkness once. Manifestation. I don't Ever think it could be the Riku replica yet because it, one form or another. No, of course not because the this is a dream world. So naturally, yeah, body. it could just be that. A puppet replica of the shadows in my heart. They don't have now, their actual forms in the real world yet because Darkside? Vexen hasn't hey, returned to them. Don't you have a Jiminy like I do? 
He's my conscience. He's taught me all kinds of important stuff. Maybe you just need somebody to show you what's right and wrong. Sure. You can't shoulder all your problems. Shoulder. Alone, you, know. you must have somebody. A friend you can talk to? Yeah. Actually, I do. That stupid grin he's always wearing. <laughs> he's the best teacher I could ever have. Gee whiz! I wish I had lots of good friends. You will, Pinocchio. More than you can count. <sighs> what now? Is something in there? Pinocchio, Jiminy, you should head back. I'll see what's shaking things up. Okay. Chain of Memories. We know about the Chain of Memories, but uh, let's go ahead and read about it. <laughs> Sora Dalton Goofy is searching for Riku and King Mickey for some time before he came face to face with a man in a black coat who guided them to a place called Castle Oblivion. He gave him a card, which he said was constructed of Sora's memories. They began exploring the worlds within this and other cards like it, so all the previous Kingdom Hearts worlds. Marluxia, the man in the black coat and a member of the organization, was using the powers of a girl named Nominate to manipulate Sora's memory and take control of Sora's Keyblade. The organization were nobodies, a special type of person created when a person's heart was stolen and only their body and spirit remained. As Sora made his way through the castle, his memories of Kairi were replaced with those of Namine. He had to fight Riku, who appeared in his dark form and claimed Namine was his to protect. Sora went out and Riku vanished. One by one, Sora defeated the organization members who stood in his path. One of them, Axel, proved more slippery than the others and seemed to be neither friend nor foe. Sora also learned that the Riku he had fought was just a replica manufactured by the organization. With this Riku replica's help, Sora was able to strike Malusha down. Namine confessed to Sora what she had done, but he did not hold it against her, because he's a frickin' pure heart of light kid. She offered him a choice. He'd either put his scattered memories back the way they were and lose all his memories of the castle, or keep his memories the way they were now. He chose to get his old memories back by going into a deep sleep until they could be repaired, but first he promised Namine she would not be forgotten that they would meet again. Meanwhile, Riku had found his way out of the realm between light and darkness. Led by a mysterious voice, he made his way to Castle Oblivion, but the voice turned out to be Ansem's. Riku made his way through the castle, battling Ansem in the darkness within him at every step, and having a very boring fight because he had to do all the worlds and fight the battles, but he didn't get any kind of interaction. The organization had also noticed the darkness in Riku's heart and sought to use it for their own ends. While facing Lexaeus, one of the organization's members, Riku was forced to summon the darkness within him and succumb to it. But somewhere far away, he heard King Mickey call out to him. Knowing King Mickey was watching over him gave Riku the strength to press on through the castle. With the power of darkness proving too great a temptation, Riku again seemed ready to be overtaken by Ansem, but this time King Mickey came to his rescue in person. King gave him a special card. Inside the card world, he discovered that the Ansem he had been fighting was actually a man named Diz. The man told Riku to fight Namine and disappeared. Before Riku could reach Namine, he was confronted by the Riku replica. The real Riku won out, and the replica seemingly vanished. Namine offered to lock away Riku's memory of Ansem, but Riku knew he had to face the darkness in his heart himself. He prevailed over Ansem and departed the Castle Oblivion with Mickey by his side. From then on, he resolved to shoulder both light and darkness and walk the road to dawn. Which is why his Keyblade is called Way to Dawn. Okay, this is the way back. Where we came from, and... What on earth? Is that a uh, challenge place? Oh, okay. Okay, that's cute. I was wondering how we were supposed to get in there. Hitting that thing turned everything around. I thought, you know, not that it would have been hard to get into, but it just se still seemed kind of strange that they might rely on you to use... Uh, A uh, flow motion to get in there. Oh goody, it's the icky stuff. Buddy is level 22. Only three more levels and I can get rid of him. So I'll have Kiraga. Oh darn, I thought this would be smaller. I'm in the icky stuff. Yep, it damages, probably drops as well. Huh. 
Yeah. Collision magnet. That's not that great, really. Let's just move on. Oh my. Confetti candy too. Oh darn. What a waste. Ha! Oh, it makes stuff grow, huh? All right. No, drop me not. <laughs> okay, guess how we're going to deal with uh, this boss. Hint. It involves balloons. Char Clobster.
Oh my word, did you stay still? I wonder how you're supposed to really fight him when he does nothing but run away from you. Because, I mean, this game doesn't have a lot of long-range attacks. Or attacks that teleport you to the enemy. <laughs> I thought I was only sent into the past on the Destiny Islands. So why does it seem like... Time was rewound in this world, too. Maybe it's like Master Yen Sid said. The world was freed from darkness, but is yet to wake from it. It's trapped in a never-ending dream. <laughs> nice, short, simple. Good world. Time to go back to uh, Sora. Ocean's Rage. Compensates with the boost in magic and more frequent reality shifts. Interesting, okay. Ah, I can't go on until I uh, get Sora, apparently. So, let's uh, go ahead and drop, which was my plan anyway. And we'll go ahead and end this video there.